Industrial era. Golden age again. Beautiful. Uh, Korea, Malia and golden age. Normal for Norway. That's kind of the <laughs> normal for Norway. <laughs> what is normal for Norway? Don't ask. What are we going to do? I think I like Heartbeat of Steam again. To be honest, this extra science and the extra production, well, I guess just the extra production works nicely for me. So yeah, let's keep doing it. Up to 300 production per turn. That's pretty decent. There we go. Worship building, tall extension. It's just a little bit more housing. There you go. We can continue continue growing in a second once I've done and I've got the food project back on should I get hydroelectric dam these are things I can buy come on Ursa focus two mitigated floods in a row look at that yes give me the era score it's what I like to see James Watt literally was just gonna give me like four extra production but is hey it's all production it's all production so we take it uh it's actually worth a little bit more than that because of my modifiers I've just realized look at this I'm losing 200 food per turn from housing here Oh, yeah, I need anything that gives me housing right now is a huge deal. Like this military academy, absolutely don't need it, but it gives me housing. That's just taken an entire turn off because I'm getting 223 food from my project. That's being boosted by almost 200 from the uh, growth bonuses I'm getting. So yeah, keeping on top of housing, this is going to get progressively more difficult. I might have to genuinely start building a lot of neighborhoods now. Uh oh, that's not fun for a knight to see. What's going on here? Uh oh, sail away, sail away. I thought I'd evangelize my religion just kind of because I could. It doesn't really matter what building I pick. None of them are going to make a difference, but I'll pick Gerdwara just in case for some reason I can flip. I think it's Religions Expanded, one of the mods that I play with. Sometimes it lets you convert all of your worship buildings, but I don't think this is going to happen. Not a problem though. I think I'm going to, I mean, Holy Waters increases healing of religious units by 10 in Holy Site Districts. Yeah. I mean, it seems religious and pointless. Or re re religious? It seems religious. It seems ridiculous is what I was going to say there. Oh dear. But it works well. I like it a lot. Although, yet again, another turn, another lack of housing. Where are we going to get it from today? Military Academy, tall extension comes with housing and citizen. So that's really good. The zoo tall extension comes with two housing. That I did notice. That looks really good. Stone tablet, ancient artifact. Again, they're all ancient. What's going on? Terrible. Now, I've got the space in my archaeological museum, but with well, a tall extension of it, but I can't get another archaeologist yet. This is the bug that had been reported. It counts as being finished. So the only way I could get more artifacts would be to purchase them from the AI. We've got to wait a long time for that because I don't think the AI even knows what an artifact is at this point. Um, oh no, they're just about learning. Just about learning. Yeah, they're catching up. Professional sports. Amazing. I'm really, really tempted to actually get some more housing in via New Deal. It would be worth four more population in my city right now. Makes a big difference. But all of my cards are doing so much for me. Like a huge amount for me. So I don't know what I would get rid of. Rationalism? Just get rid of rationalism? No, I've still got things that I can do to buy in at the moment. So we won't panic just yet. I will hold on for a second. And of course, I've got neighborhoods as well. Like all of these could easily help me. In fact, actually, should I put one on this plus five? Hmm. I'll lose a bit of production, admittedly, but it's better to actually have that, I think. So we'll get that sorted and then we'll get the project back up. Oh, there's a relic in a tribal hut. Nice. I was wondering where we'd get another one of those. Look at that. Ten tourism. Oh, beautiful. There's a neighborhood, a little bit of era score, but more importantly, the housing. Up to 45 housing now. Perfect. We can get ourselves a food market. That would give us a little bit more food. I'm tempted though. I never tend to get food markets. I tend to wait for shopping malls because these give you two amenities. Uh, and that often with city growth, housing is a lot easier to find than amenities once you get later into the game. Admittedly, it's rare. It's honestly very rare that a city would ever get that big that you'd have to genuinely worry that much, but it's always worth keeping an eye on. The zoo extension. Here we go. This is something we could do. That's a little bit more. So yeah, we're just absolutely running with anything our city can buy at the moment. Oh yeah, I reckon we can get to 50 pot pretty soon. A little bit of extra gold. I'm just hoping for a population. Like if I find a population in a tribal hut right now, that's big news. Oh, it should be said as well that there is still a bug in the game. It's been like this for ages where the Yonglei projects, the Ligia, it shows you whatever the animation was of the last thing you built. So I am doing that project. If you see positive food growth, then the project is being run. There's physically nothing else my city could be doing to be growing right now. So it just sort of is. That's 40 pop, by the way. 30 million living in one city. I'm actually pretty sure 
There are more people living in this city than there are the rest of the world combined. That's why I'm on 774 science. <laughs> The one thing I'm really taking away from this game is this is probably the closest to Civ 5 that the game has ever felt. I've played with the, was it the City Lights mods or, or the sort of detailed mods? I, I played in a Germany game a little while ago and it was good, but it, it felt just very complicated. This mod is extremely simple to play and the good thing about the mod is it doesn't change how the game works for wide players. It only gives benefits to tall players. It doesn't actually penalize wide players at all. So you can run it and play a very normal game game kind of why i enjoy it oh man now that's annoying they are hiding on a modern armor which i really really want but that is a spearman which is going to be very difficult to dislodge here is a broadcast center yay oh is it too late to absorb a city state into the game <laughs> <laughs> I think it probably is. Oh, that would be fun. Uh, should we, I'm just going to get a musician because I've just found some space for music, which I like. What's with the World Congress today? Oh yeah, can we vote for my religion? The mega city of snacks and not Paul. Mwah! And I'd love it if we could make neutralizing a governor unavailable. But watch as this now gets put through as twice as effective. No, breach dam. Oh, Oh no, I have a dam. Well, that's not good. I should probably sort that out quickly. I still have... Uh, Machiavellianism, don't I? So let's just go a one, two, three, four, five. Let's just get all the spies out really quick. There you go, Cold War will let me get my last one. That's great. Uh, Chinguetti, you need to get back in here. Come on, people keep stealing my stuff. Not up for this. Not up for this at all. I want that faith per turn. It's, it's important to me. Broadcast center tool extension. This gives me tourism for all the population in my city. Hey, that's awesome. An artist and musician points, more culture, more culture per citizen, more tourism. Oh, look at that. Pingala Curator. 10% tourism from great works of art and from tourism world wonders in the city. Oh, yes, please. Oh, that's like worth 100 culture per turn minimum. Yeah, look at that. What a building. Hey, these are the yields. This is what we wanted to see. Our specialists are worth like five culture now. That's awesome. Oh, and more space. More space for stuff. Cool. All right, go counter spy. Industrial zone, Matt, it covers the dam as well. I, I just don't trust the AI. I really don't trust it to do anything here. 280 tourism per turn though. We're actually getting a decent chunk of tourism just from this one city. Like what is producing the most? It is the Apadana. Wow. I love this, I have to say, this red and yellow colour. I often change the colours of sieves. I know it annoys some people. I don't play with the standard colours very often, but this red and yellow. Oh, it's a stunning colour. I love I love all the artwork for it. How am I using 22 power? What is going on here? What's taking it up? Uh, oh, the tall extensions all take power. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm actually starting to pollute quite heavily now. How is my CO2 compared to... Oh yeah, no, I am actually producing quite a bit. So yeah, let's get the hydroelectric dam. That'll just take it slowly off. Oh, look at that. What was that? 8.398 power from renewables. What? There is some sort of multiplier going on here. One of my buildings is doing something. I don't know which one it is. Oh, there we go. It's the power plant. Ah, that was right. When governor is established, 40% power from renewable sources in the city. So I could actually start putting renewables around this extra ring. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm slowly getting these fifth tiles around my land. If I can put national parks down, that would be a good use for them. But I'm going to have to put a lot of trees down to make that work. Not that that's a problem, but it just is something to think about. Um, no, wait. What are you doing? You're going to be settling right up to me. Well, I don't appreciate it if you do. Really will not appreciate it. If you come through my land, that's fine. But yeah, I was going to say, back off, friend. <laughs> this tile around this volcano that keeps exploding, that is absolutely mine. How often am I getting tiles at the moment? Next one is, oh, I'm getting a tile every two turns or so. That's not too bad. A third spy, send you to the spaceport. I do want to steal, I'm going to use sp uh, some spies offensively, but these three, I've got three in my own land. I'll send the rest out. Yeah, why not? Oh, look, Norway is spying on Mali. Oh, I like that. Clever. I like the fact that you can see that. That's really sneaky. Hey, another mitigated flood. That's like the fourth on this river. That's amazing. Look at the, the Great Bath is slowly getting up. I mean, I can only work one of these tiles, but still, 
it was worth it. They, you know, just having the Great Bath in my city, like every turn, if I show you the, I think I mentioned this before, but it's worth three science and eight faith per turn. That's before modifiers. Faith is like 100%, science is like 125%. It's well worth having in my city. And guys, I can make, oh, you know what? That would be quite fun. Let's go and grab this city state as well, because now I can use my gold to buy in very cheap units. We get a modern anti-tank army in just to boost my city strength a bit. The mm. reason I'm going for that is because it doesn't take resources every turn. Just one reduction in resource that I could be selling is a bit of a problem for me. Oh, hang on. Archaeologist is back. I think it's sorted itself out. I think it's now unbugged itself. That wasn't available earlier. I'm pretty sure. Perfect. Right. Well, we've got more opportunities now. We can go out and find some other places. There's nanotech. Let's get ourselves robotics, please. I should probably put one of these space projects into the air at some point, but uh, still haven't quite got around to it. I'm actually not leaning on score, but I'm close. Very close. Where's my points coming from? Oh, a bit of everything. Wonders, era score. No empire size, but a bit of religion, a bit of great people. Interesting. I really want to get globalization. I can't even lie. It's really, really good. Uh, I haven't built any aerodromes. I haven't built any railways. I mean, there's no need to go anywhere. So I kind of haven't got around to it. But yeah, that's something my city could probably use. Just endless rings of railroad around in, in concentric circles around my city. I mean, that would be that would be a good use of resources and CO2. Ursa, your nation, it single-handedly caused global warming by putting huge amounts of CO2 into the atmosphere. Why? What did you do? Well, well, I, I just needed to build um, pointless rings of rail around my city. They served no purpose whatsoever. <laughs> Another armory tall extension. Bam. That just means all the specialists in this district are doing more and more things. Love it. Looking at the maths of this city is just mind-boggling. 30 immunities required oh, in the city, 21 required, getting 11 from luxuries, 11 from entertainment. Wow. Housing, 42, 48 needed, yeah, mad. Yeah, you know what, I keep getting distracted. I keep getting distracted, now I'm going to get Krista Redenta. I just, I, I, I do have relics, and they are going to be some tourism, and the sneaky, sneaky chance of me getting a culture victory whilst I'm going for science is too much to resist. Uh, plus, I needed something for Filippo to do, and we've got Eiffel appearing next turn. You know, we've got to get a couple wonders. Like, actually, I was, I was looking at the actual yields of the wonder. Let me just show you this. When I was selecting it, it was showing me, like, three science, four culture, eight faith. You get a lot from having wonders in cities. Like, I really don't mind that at all. Look at that. Stadium. Uh, plus nine tile range from modifiers. I love that. The range of misses mad, but a little bit of extra tourism just from the stadium. Bit of era score. Very nice. So there's Eiffel. Who's up next? Goddard? No, Ada. We've still got Ada Lovelace. Uh, I'm just saving my faith up to get Einstein just for a little bit of extra science, but here's a little bit of extra wonder. And then Eiffel. A little bit of extra wonder. Christopher Dental will be finished next turn. The only thing they haven't added with this mod is an increase in religious spread because it all works per city rather than by population. It would be good if a huge city would actually put a lot of religious pressure out. Not that the mod really needs it. You can buy apostles by the boatload, but it's all good fun. Christo Redentor! Yay! It just looks really cool. I mean, I'm working like these random tiles that I'm working in my land. You don't even need them. Oh, hello! Minus one. I'm losing 15 food per turn. How did that happen? I mean, the food market would probably be helping this. <laughs> but I just don't want it. There's Einstein though. Yay! Who's up next? Nobel. Nobel would have been relatively good, but I'll let Korea get Nobel. Who's up after them? Turing. Don't need Turing. I've got 14 districts unlocked and there's not that many in the game. Physically have nothing I can do with them. Gonna get rid of rationalism briefly for where are the builders? Where are you? Where do you live? There's too many options. Public works. Let's get that in. Got gold burning a hole in my pocket. Oh wow, look at the food in this city now. That's ridiculous. We just went from 42 to 43 pop in one turn pretty much. That's, oh yeah, I need to keep that project on as long as I can. Albert Einstein, bit more science. 743 goes to 763. Not a huge boost to be fair, but still a boost. There's an artist. If I ever wanted to make art for myself, I've got nowhere to put it at the moment, but that's fine. Oh, my archaeologist just got killed by Barbarian. Ugh. Getting them over to anywhere with actual artifacts is proving problematic. Okay, we're going to steal Norway's instead. It's closer. We will annoy them, but they keep sending missionaries and apostles to me. So annoying them is totally legit, I think. Mont Saint Michel. I got this because it's got a couple of relic slots in, which is wonderful. More relics in my nation, more tourism. And I can also send out apostles now to go and fight Norway's and get myself some relics. 
which actually sounds really good. More faith means more great people, so it's not a bad little combo, that. Plus, Portugal's relic is a, a discount now. I think that was the only other relic in the game. Marley's not trading their stuff with me, but I didn't see any relics here. They've just got a lot of artifacts. A lot of artifacts. A lot of, a lot of everything, actually. They're doing pretty well culturally. They would be the ones to stop me from getting a tourism victory. They're gaining almost three domestic tourists per turn, and I'm getting enough to pick up, like, almost two. So I'm a little bit behind at the moment. I probably need my tourism up closer to about a thousand if I was going to genuinely go for a tourism victory, but I, t <laughs> I don't think we are genuinely going to do it. I, it. It's more of a more of a little joke, but I am enjoying just using IFL on things. 43 population mount is 37 million souls crammed into one heaving city with but a single neighborhood. <laughs> There's so many people. Oh no, scrap that. 44 million people, which is uh, just under 40 million people now. We are. We, I have no idea how we're producing this many people this quickly. The official answer is don't ask. Sorry, Norway, you're not going to like this, but I am getting artifacts. Oh, it only got me the one. Oh, and has it done that thing where it's kind of lost it? Uh, hang on, if I try and sell again. Sometimes great works of art can get lost. Artifact, where's the other one? Artifact, and then artifact. No. Did I just replace one that got stolen? Someone might have just stolen something and I just didn't notice, but I don't feel like that's happened. I, weird. Yeah, very strange. I have to buy some artifacts from Marley if I really, really want them. Give me the modern armor. Oh, yeah. It's a nice three unit, really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's made my city a lot more powerful. 129 strength. Wow. Oh my lord, the siphon funds worked. That's the first time it's worked. 2,778 gold. I've been trying to do this all game. That is how unlucky my spies have been. Like, that, that genuinely is the first time it's happened. Merchant. Nope, don't want that merchant. He steals city-states. Can't be bothered with that one. Ooh, Shah. Gives me a wonder. Would be good. Would be good if I could work the fourth tile. But alas, I cannot. It's totally pointless. Siphon funds as if two levels more experienced. Here we go. Actual useful spies. Who'd have thunk it? Um, Portugal? No, no. No, no. Have you not got the message? I don't want any religion in this city other than my own. This is the mega city of snacks and not Paul. How dare you bring the ways of Paul. The heathen into this city. Terrible. Oh, look, and Norway's at it as, as well. Calm down, everyone. What's going on here? Right, let's... I mean, Norway's religion has to go first. That's just a priority, but we're going to just block in. There we go. This apostle now. Now you can't escape. And... Oh, almost got the kill. Next turn, we will do that. One thing I have noticed as I'm making more builders, because we're making a lot of builders now. I had a lot of spare gold, is that there's a lot of stuff to chop, but I'm also now replanting woods in order to get um, national parks. Like, there's one that I can pop on this little space. Again, it's all tourism, but it's also amenities in my city. And, like, I can build neighborhoods. Neighborhoods are easy to build. So my housing is uh, above 252 now, but amenities will become a problem at some point. But marsh, like all this marsh, that needs to go. That's just three food. Um, oh, yeah, look, I, uh, there we go. Look, you see, I said, I, I started complimenting spies and now they've immediately started to die. That's that's my fault. That's my fault that Korea is finally starting to put spaceports down everywhere. I was sort of saving it because I wanted to get Goddard first. I just fancied being able to very, very effectively get space projects in, but I guess I probably should get at least the first few projects done. Just feels like a shame. At the moment, I'm getting food growth. As soon as Korea finishes the spaceport, then I'll rush it through. I want to be the first person to get it. I'm very greedy like that. I like the fact that I'm, I'm basically buying all of these artifacts from Mali with the gold I stole from them. <laughs> have your gold back. Um, I mean, you know, you're giving me something in return, but have your gold back. Go on, Norway. I'm attacking your apostle with my apostle in the middle of your land. Kill it. Kill it. You know you want to. Send it to the afterlife. Nope, just going to sit there healing. Hey, you know what? That is equally fine. Oh, globalism. Uh, globalization, sorry. That's awesome. Just quickly, we'll buy one more builder very rapidly. If I can actually get my units out quickly. Okay, International Space Agency is worth like 277 science. Oh, yes. I think I might have to get rid of Visselbank and as much as that's annoying, I've only got four trade routes at the end of the day. It's not the best for me. Five-year plan, public works. These are all feeling like pretty good. Um, E-commerce, I'm going to pop that in. Do I want to do that? Feels like a bit of a waste, to be honest. 
Let's get rationalism instead. We'll go full blown science. 1192. There we go. All before, t uh, before turn 200. And I'm finally starting to chop things down. That would be 173 food chopping down that marsh. How much do I actually need to grow the population? It says 10 at the moment. Hang on. There you go. That's over to 46. And now I need 500 food. So one marsh is worth like a third of the population. That's not bad. There we go. There's my apostle killed. There's another relic. Lovely. I don't need any more relics at the moment, but if I get any more spots, you better believe. I'm gonna pop it straight in. Uh, breach Dam. Oh, the Breach Dam worked as well. My second success in about eight. Look at that. And a promotion. If Spy is in home territory, all Spies operate at plus one level. Yeah, go on, man. Right, I'll bring you home. Oh, I love when that happens. 13,000 production, and I completed one of my food projects. Done. It's finished. <laughs> I love it. I've actually bought a surface-to-air missile in my capital. I, I don't remember the last time I've done that, but I was just thinking, I'm going to make myself an absolute fort. No one will be able to get into this city. It is a permanent bastion of Ryzantium lore and logic. Ryzantium is still growing with every chop. Oi, get off my... Ah, oh, I'm going to chop that tile right there. I, I love it when the AI is just like, I'm going to stand right where you were going to do something. And you sort of look at it and go, please don't. Predictive systems, I can put wind turbines down now. It's good. That feels good. I don't want to chop water, woods down. What am I doing over there? I don't know. Getting these national parks down though is proving a little tricky. Uh, what I do need is once Tesla is out of the way, I think I should be getting Alvar Alto, which would be plus one appeal to all tiles in my city. That's weirdly useful. I don't normally need that one, but um, Alvar would be really, really handy. That would get me all of the different national parks that, uh, that a Ursa could want in uh, in his life. Look at this. We'll just chop that rainforest down. We'll chop this wheat down. 48 population. That means we've got 51 million people in one city. <laughs> that is horrendous. Oh, I just did a little bit of trading and I've now got a themed museum. Oh, it's rare that you can actually do trading with the AI, but they, they are all up for it. There's another barbarian mask there. Let's just trade it for industrial artifact. Oh, they don't really want it, but let's um, let's just admit. You don't really have a choice in the matter. I'm going to give you gold until you submit. There you go. Well, I've got one barbarians, one young lay. I just need an ancient from anyone that isn't barbarians or young lay. Oh, Norway just settled a four population city. They're actually using Hicksung Draconas. No, hang on. Wait, what? No, 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 no. They're in a normal age. Like that city just appeared and it's on four population. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, oh, one level of diplomatic visibility with all AI. I will happily take that. Thank you so much. So we siphoned another like 2,500 gold. It's looking good. Steel great work. So yeah, let's do that. Perfect. We've actually got a decent spy now. I'm loving it. Almost at 50 population as well. Almost. Social media is good, but uh, yeah. So I'm going to put in collective activism. It's going to lose a little bit of science per turn from me, like 100. But honestly, right now, we've pretty much got everything we need. Uh, the project will be there and then there. Cool. So we've almost got all of the late game techs that we need now. Keep count spying in the meantime. There's my rocket site. There's my... I'm going to go into the aqueduct because I just don't trust the AI not to take Pingala out. It's too tempting for them. I have a national park, but I want it on these four, not on these four. If the game does that and refuses to put it in the right place for you, just go and put temporary improvement down. And there you go. Do you see it moves? Now you can put it wherever you want. Korea keeps taking over on domestic tourists, which is quite amazing. They've got satellites now, but they don't have a spaceport. They're still building it. They're not finished one anywhere. Oh, they're finishing it in one turn. <laughs> Good thing I spotted that. Okay, we've waited for as long as I can really be bothered to. Let's now get the Earth satellite. I'm going to get these projects down first. I want the era score. Do I want to go for a better government right now? I'm going to go cultural heritage and into environmentalism first, then I'll decide. Because at the moment, I'm only getting a 20% tourism penalty. If I go to a better government, I'll get a 40% penalty. Both are actually winning at the same time. You know what would be really fun with this mod? Is a one city challenge on the test of time. Uh, have you seen that mod where it's like, can you get every single victory on the same playthrough or the same game before the AI gets one? That would be relatively entertaining. Because I reckon you could probably have a good go at getting every single victory. I think domination would be quite hard, admittedly, but I've seen worse challenges. Yeah, look, I thought Korea would immediately jump on the project. How many turns have they got? Six turns, but actually putting those into space pretty quick. But luckily for me, 
I'm uh, three turning it and I haven't got any boosts. No Goddard, no Stephanie, no Von Braun, nothing, nothing. Launch the Earth satellite. Off we go. Look at that. We'll discover all of the map. We'll discover all of the tribal huts. Well, not many of them. But we'll get some era score as well. Uh, there is a tribal hut. Is that it? Is that literally the only one left on the map? Let's have a quick look. We've got, no, there's three. One, two, three. Okay, I've still got some exploring units here and there. So maybe we can just go pick one up. Oh no, I say that. One of my exploring units has just found a frigate. Yeah, that's not going to be around for too much longer. Let's not get attached. There's Tesla and... Oh, Alva. Alva's who we need. Lovely stuff. There's Smart Materials done. Okay, Offworld Mission is now boosting along nicely. We've got the moon landing, which is just about to happen. Tesla's just given my city. A smidge more production. 337 right now. There's Jane Austen. Perfect. I'm with a bit of gold. Look at this. Alva. Bit of extra appeal in my lands. Perfect. We'll save up for Goddard next. But this will basically mean I can build a national park anywhere I want. The world enters the modern era. Uh, my city is starving. Ignore that. Interesting. People often forget this. But if your city is starving, there's minus four loyalty. So yeah, you actually get a loyalty penalty. Luckily for me, I've got 49 population here. So the chances of me losing the city are very slim. But worth keeping an eye on. Oh, Hang on, I just realized there's a scroll down. Did I miss this last time? Oh man, I don't know if this was an industrial era thing or if this is modern era to start with. The mod has added in one other thing. City life, 15% faster growth and two loyalty per turn for cities on my original continent. Plus 5% science, culture, faith and great people points in cities with at least 20 population. Let's just do it. It's a very small bonus to be fair, but it is a bonus, so we'll take it. There's Alto. Let's get in my naturalist. I actually have no idea if that was around last time, but uh, oh look, there you go. Loads more parks we can put down now. Beautiful. I will unlock this government. It's minus 10% tourism and it's tier 4. Oh, that's painful. And I'd lose my... Actually, we haven't even got the New Deal housing on, have we? That's the, that's the weirdest thing about this playthrough. I haven't quite needed it yet. What are we voting for? I'll vote for myself for culture bombs and... Oh, for traderies. That'd be brilliant if we could get one of those. And, I mean, Portugal is clearly going to win the diplomatic victory. So we'll vote for them. World's fair. I know I could vote against them, but there's no point voting against them because they're going to win it anyway. So I might as well pick up a point. There's the moon landing. That means I get 10 times my science in culture. Still another 3,000 gold as well. Oh, God, it's all happening. Uh, yeah, perfect. That is wonderful. Let's just get new feature governance. Oh, do I want to switch my government? This is the thing. If I switch my government, the chances of me getting a tourism victory pretty much disappear. But I am getting a science victory, aren't I? So, I mean, I really don't need it. But oh, these national parks keep changing. Why do you keep changing like that? I want to do it in this one. Tribal village. What's in this one? A recon unit. Oh, it's a spec ops. Perfect. I can do some paratrooping. What more would I want in life? I'm having to do a bit of food project as well. I couldn't possibly see my population go down. Imagine it going from 49 to 48. What would I do? There'd be no one working in my nation. That is the last city state secured, which means I now have all of them on the map, which is pretty good. 50 population next turn. That's a good thing to see. We like to see stuff like that. And you know what? I'm going to get some, should we get a bit more eco power into the land? Let's do that. There you go, careers in space. They've got the Earth satellite going now. That's fair. And oh, neutralized governor. That spy keeps getting captured. It's like the third time. They, they, they love it. They love the chase. They love the feeling that like, you know, I'm going to go and buy them. It's like a sort of power thing for them. Another national park. I must be getting a lot of immunities from these things now. How much am I? Yeah, six. Look at that, it's perfect. If, if I was struggling for happiness, I wouldn't be any more. If you wanted to know, by the way, uh, population 50 in a city, and I'm not trading that, is uh, 57 million people in a city. Unbelievably, look at that richer city. Mali actually has a richer city than mine. That's, that's not right. Dear, oh dear, don't like that at all. There is Goddard, by the way. Yay, Jane Drew now. Oh, this is, Jane is who I need. Yes, perfect. Oh, I can trade with Portugal now. That's cool. Look at that. More tourism. Yay. And I've reached the official capacity of my borders as well. Physically cannot increase any more than it is. Perfect. I, I lost maybe, yeah, I lost one tile to this city state and three tiles to this city state. Shame. If that's not a cause for instant destruction, I don't know what is. And we're finally on to future tech in 215, turn 215. Wow. 
thing is, it, this is a very powerful mod and it makes one city play incredibly easy and effective to do. But I've had wide games that have gone, you know, crazier than this. So it's not, I wouldn't say broken. Broken's not quite as far because it's just, it's just very, very effective. And like very effective with very minimal thinking as well, which is actually quite enjoyable to play every now and then. Career is 11 turns into the moon landing. Oh, you're so slow. Why not doing that in your capital as well? Come on. I love the AI, it does that. It's like, I'm going to build the project in a really low production city that's going to take forever. And you sort of look at it and go, okay, sure thing. Why, why not? Why not do that? There's the Mars colony, by the way. I have one more project left, but I'm going to treat myself to a single turn of food just to stop myself from, uh, you know, dying. And then we'll go from there. Oh, we can do other trades with other people. Turn 217, I'm on feature civic as well. There you go, you see we did it! Huzzah! Drill manuals, I, I've had this in the whole thing. Why have I not changed my government anytime soon? Oh, integrated space cell! Would have been so much better. And I no longer need all of this stuff anymore, do I? Let's let's get instead e-commerce in and this will bank in. I know repeatables are fun. I don't need all of the repeatables. We're just gonna keep on doing this. Ra I mean, having Raj in though is pointless. Let's do rep let's do some repeatables. Okay, yeah, changed my mind entirely. Let's 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 do them. There you go. Exoplanet expedition is up now. Which one turn, one turn of my project almost gave me an entire population at 50 pop. What's going on? More future tax every time. There's another five percent. It's all good. Jane Drew, three immunities, four housing the full housing. Weirdly, the housing is, is much, much more important. I don't remember a game where housing was this important. Like, it, it, it's, it's crazy. There's the Exoplanet Expedition. There's another, like, 3,000 gold, but I'm just noticing. I'm actually, again, starting to win a culture victory again. Like, this is mad. What's going on with this nation? Okay, this time Lagrange Station is the one I want to be going for. I haven't really bothered to get builders to be rushing this stuff. Um, mainly, not because it's any good, but just because I've forgotten. <laughs> Been very chill just playing the game at my own speed it's just the good thing about a one city challenge you, you basically just sort of switch off and press buttons for a little while first lagrange laser station done that's two per turn now look at that beautiful i'm gonna get one done next turn as well one more laser station up into the air am i really sending out rock bands yes i am am i immediately regretting it Yes, I am. Oh, what is it with me and Rock Band Luck? Has somebody put a mod out and secretly changed all of my spy and, and Rock Band chances just so that I always get the lowest possible RNG roll? Like, I'm not even joking. I'm I am almost entirely convinced somebody did that in the Steam Workshop and has just been like laughing this entire time. <laughs> Oh man, imagine if that had actually happened. Because I don't, I don't I don't genuinely believe that has happened. But imagine if someone did. Oh yeah, let's just give Korea all my uranium. Yeah, what could go wrong? What could go wrong indeed, John Roebling? In you get. One more Lagrange laser station. I don't think I can put another one into the sky. So let's do let's do one terrestrial and then we'll get some food projects in. I'm already getting pretty decent light years per turn. Just want to see how big the city I can get. Uh, which one's this? This is a scientist one. Oh, Exciting rock bands. It's the thrilling entertainment. Oh, that's John Rebling. It's the thrilling entertainment you all wanted to see. Purple Gold. Nope. Aging Rockers. That's two out of two for me so far. Let's go. Number three. Number three. Oh my god. Yay! It's a promotion. Oh, one of three worked. I'll take it. If nothing else happens this game, I'll take it. Oh, look, look, actually Portugal's religion's done really well this game. They've converted a lot of people. What's Portugal's religion all about? That's feed the world, isn't it? Uh, oh, they haven't got any, like if they, if the AI gets science or gold or something from their religion, sometimes they can do really well. Oh, this is really funny. I can convert Norway cities with a rock band. Nope, dead, dead again. <laughs> Norway is seeking a domination victory, eh? Oh, that's a bit of a change. Well, don't come looking my way. Opening act. Hey, th th that'll do. Honestly, that'll do for me right now. Um, Rising Stars. Again, that'll do. Just staying alive, honestly. Ah ha ha ha. Staying alive. Seamless impression, that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, do a little bit better this time. Creative differences. Oh, and it got 4,000 tourism. So that was actually a decent chunk. Oh, why didn't you stay alive? I'd have loved it if you'd stayed alive. Silver Civ. Oh, that was even their promoted thing. Goodness me, they're all dead. Everyone's dead. Given up. <laughs> That's six rock bands that have all died within about seven or eight turns. I'm just 
just not playing anymore. Not gonna do it. I'm gonna just settle for this science victory, which is uh, admittedly two turns away now. Just trying to get as much population into Rhizantium as I can. I could have optimized this massively, by the way. I reckon we probably could have got about 215 science victory if I'd really pushed it. I've just been having fun. I've just been trying to pump this city full of as much food as possible. It's currently 63 million. I think that's just gone up another one. Uh, 67 million people in one city. Let's let's all agree to never go there ever again. There we go. Victory. One city challenge with an amazing mod. I would massively recommend playing it. Remember, Discord is the place for the save file and all the mods I use if you want to give this a go. I couldn't recommend this on multiplayer enough. This would be brilliant. And on online speed. I think online speed, you could probably get a game of Civ done in like three hours. I honestly think minimum. Probably do it quicker. Ivan the Terrible, you don't get a lot of score from having one city, but uh, what can you do? Buildings constructed. I had the least. This is going to be really, really weird. Cities founded. One. Districts constructed. The least. Great people earned. The most. Look at that. By a culture. Yeah, you can see when Young Lei just goes whoop and, uh, and you get all of the extra stuff from them. Uh, there's the science graph. I was well and truly in control of that one. Era score. I actually did have more era score than everybody. We were doing really well on that front. Faith was decent. Oh, look at that. Portugal having a good go. Oh, that's Chinguetti. Ah, uh, I stole that from them. Whoopsie. Yeah, that sucks if you're Portugal. Look at my gold bow compared to everyone else's. Kept stealing it all. <laughs> score. Briefly, I was the score leader. Was I? No, actually, no. I was never the score leader. Oh, no. I might have been at the beginning. No, no, I don't think I was. Governor titles, useless graph, that one. Religion's founded. Good. I like to see my religion at the end. Having a double follower belief. That was a really interesting aspect of the mod that I, I mean, imagine if you got double feed the world or double work ethic. Oh, imagine if you had the original version of work ethic. You know, the one that was 1% production for every citizen you had following the religion. I think I would have been up to almost 50%. So that would have been 100% extra production. Wow, that would have been good. Units killed, mostly religious units, being absolutely honest with you. Like units lost, mostly scouts. And wonders constructed. That's unbelievable amounts of wonders for the fact that I had one city. If anything, I built too many because it blocked out all of my tiles. I had basically nothing left. By the end of that game, if I had gone for a neighborhood, I had two workable tiles left. I could have actually used them at some point, but I just couldn't decide what to use them on and I wanted to keep them a little bit flexible. So there you go. Actually, one of them could have been an aerodrome as well. Man, what a beautiful city. The greatest city in the world of Rhizantium. 67 million people in. I want to see your, uh, your your attempts at this mod. Have a go. Come along to Discord. Show me what you do. Your one city challenges. How big can you get? Especially with Yonglei. I think a big map in Portugal would also work very well. Portugal obviously always works well with the one city challenge with all of the trade routes. And you can actually see I'm getting 165 food from Yonglei's project and 33 from the trade routes. Now, if I had Thistle Banking in, that would be 50. If it was Portugal, that would be 75. And if I had more trade routes, that could go really high. So I think Portugal could actually rival Yonglei with being really, really good. In fact, Yonglei is getting uh, 53 science from their ability at the moment, but the rest of it from population is coming from the mod and the mod's buildings. So Yonglei's ability is doing something for me, but not a huge amount. It actually works really well when you've got loads of population scattered everywhere. Look, everyone else is in the hundreds of population, apart from the Dutch. Poor Dutch. Oh, they really got... <laughs> oh, yeah, they've lost a couple of cities up there. Oh, dear. Why does that always happen to the Dutch? I have no idea. Civ just seems to absolutely... Oh, look at this Mali settling around me. Oh, Norway settling down, Korea settling down. Everyone wanted to be my friends. I was wondering why I could trade with people because they keep settling near me. Yeah, I couldn't recommend this mod more. It was really, really fun. I mean, a turn two, three, six victory. It's quite comparable to if I'd gone wide. I think this would be very competitive on online play. Anyway, before I bore myself with saying the same thing over and over and over and over, I'm going to go and uh, start filming the next series. I really, really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, then consider subscribing. It massively, massively helps the channel and I really Really appreciate it. Go and show my bad images and bad drawings some love. I'm sure Civ 7 will be released soon, right? Very soon, please? And until then, I'll see you all, beautiful people, next time. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Dayboy91, Sean Critties, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Kroger Brand Trailmix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Rom88, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boy Zorro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truand, Creston, Arby Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Esri 
Ajax, Deedle Time, Shoelace, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Clint Hanez, Dr. Bobby, Paula Wallaber. Thank you all for your support. See you next time. Goodbye.